All right, guys, I have something very interesting to share with you, and this is has some history with me and the channel, for sure. This is the Seiko SBDY031, but in its reincarnated state. So a while ago, this was one of the turtles that I, you know, deturtled, and Chris had a vision. So he reached out to me and bought the case. And it was a complete case minus, well, the turtle guts. But he knew right away that he wanted one of these dials in there. And I have to say, this is very cool, very interesting. And I know this is not everyone's style. But because it's that, you know, Seiko tsunami type wave. I mean, it's called the Great Wave um of i don't want to butcher the name i'll put a link in the description it's a japanese artist thing that's been around for a very long time but the dial is actually made by again i don't want to butcher the name i'll spare you that but i think everyone calls it la it's lucius atelier or something uh sorry for butchering it but they make he makes great parts um uh, both i've had on the channel in the past the dials and the hands and everything phenomenal parts and this dial is no exception i'll even do a close-up here in a minute so you have the turtle case and then you have uh chris put in a nh35 movement and this is of course a no date dial which is smart because it's more of an art thing here this is not this is more this is beyond like just a regular watch this is far more artistic at this level um, and then the hands are from one second closer. Really good handset. Great choice on that, Chris, because they are skeletonized, revealing more of the art of the dial. So that's pretty much it. He left everything else stock. So the chapter ring, the hard lux crystal, the bezel, the bezel insert, the crown, the case back, all of that stock, stuff is bone stock. And then he paired it up with this Uncle Seiko's uh, Tropic style strap. So I think Chris said he has about 450 into it total. And I think that's, uh, you know, again, it's below my $500 comfort range. So it's, it's right in there. So if you're looking for a different spin on a wild card, so many times I thought a wild card have, had to be a unique case shape or something crazy or something like that. But all along... The wild card could be the familiar watch that I've always liked, you know, or the turtle, but with a artistic dial, so it had more depth. So let's take a closer look at it. You can see it is just clear and crisp. It is very beautifully done. Nice applied indices. And like I said, that handset is a perfect pairing with this to keep it uh, focused on the dial. So, of course, NH35, hand, wine, hack, all that good stuff. Um, and then you're going to be able to set the time very easily. So, very clear and crisp. Um, I'm going to keep this video kind of short, I guess, because, I mean, you pretty much see what it is. But there's more to the story. You have to check this out, guys. You are not ready for this. It's loomed. The whole thing is loomed. That is next level amazing dial, I think. I've never bared witness to something like this. I didn't even know when Chris sent it over that it was a loomed dial. I just thought it was a really well done dial. Um, and then I was doing another video and I happened to be sitting on my desk. And when I shut the lights off, like I was like, wait a minute, am I seeing this? I had no idea that it was this awesome. So this elevates it to far beyond cool, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, big thanks to Chris for sharing this with us. I I had no idea these were loomed. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.